Okay, so microphone back on. Uh, let's start uh, actually playing some Civilization 6 then. I just want to quickly mention uh, some details uh, once again. So, uh, yeah, everyone who is uh, in the chat knows. Uh, I think I've mentioned it to some of you. Uh, basically, this is the first time I'm streaming. This is something that I could uh, quite possibly be doing a lot more in future. Uh, this first stream is basically testing things out, so if there's a problem with audio or the FPS of the game or the picture, it would be great if you could let me know. I'm going to be streaming some Civilization 6 today. I'm going to be playing as Poland on Immortal. Uh, there's a bit more details here. Currently, I'm only using, I only have one monitor, so that's a bit of an issue because I can't easily check on what chat is saying. Uh, in uh, OBS, there is, uh, I've partially got a chat thing working, but it's, I've turned it off uh, currently. I need to uh, muck around with it a bit more in future streams. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is kind of a trial thing, but uh, yeah, could uh, be doing this a lot more. So uh, yeah, let's get to Civilization 6 then. What I'm going to be doing every, I don't know, 15 minutes, I'll... Uh, come and check out uh, what's going on in chat here. Uh, but yeah, Civ 6, I'm basically going to be playing this in a windowed mode. So let's get started. Let's go to single player. When I get a second monitor, I won't have to play in window mode. But for now, if I'm going to check on chat, it's uh, something I'm going to have to do. So game options. No, that's the wrong one. Single player, create game. Uh, advanced setup. I've actually got a configuration already set up, so let's load that and pick Poland. Jadwiga. Uh, so, we're going to be playing on Immortal. Going to be playing on uh, small map size, so six opponents. Small is actually really big, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, yeah, Immortal Difficulty, everything's standard. The only other things I've changed are the world age, the temperature, and the rainfall, all to random. So we get uh, different terrains. Uh, yeah, based on, well, whatever uh, options that happen to be. So I think, yeah, I'm ready to get started. Let's start a game. Now, hopefully, the audio is okay for this. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Pius Jadwiga, praise be to the glory of God, the Earth and Poland. Most Holy King. Okay, so this is the start. Now I've realized there's actually a bit of a bug with that loaded configuration thing where if you save it, you always get the same map. So just to make sure that uh, you know I'm not cheating, I'm actually going to use the restart feature and we'll get a completely blank map again, which is a bit of a pain because it takes a little while to do. Of life but, uh, water. Yeah, I do the have. Great beasts of the Stone Age. Uh, to man wow, taking thank you. His first uh, upright steps, I'm pretty glad I added the uh, super chat feature. Now Someone begins your greatest thank you, Architectural quest Aesthetics, have just given me a very nice donation. Really loved your Pillars of Eternity stars. build guides. Here to support your first stream for 2018. Thank you. Praise be to the glory of God, Great the start. Earth and Poland. I'm already uh, have more people King. watching, and I was expecting I thought it would be about like the truth and the light. two to five people at this time of day. That's great. To spread the word. Let's continue and. Uh, get started then right so I don't have massive amounts of experience with Civilization 6 but I think I'm probably capable of winning on Immortal I've never actually played a game to the finish I've uh, on certain games I've played at the point where I'm pretty certain of winning and a lot of other games I've got frustrated with the game and uh, not finished it but uh, we'll see let's see how we do here so hopefully uh, this is working okay on the stream. I don't know. This is the first time I'm doing it. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, so we've got a jungle 
start and uh, yeah we've I did all random terrain so there is uh, potential for some pretty bad starts because of that I think uh, but I'm gonna play this one out we've got some incense down here which will need plantations those bananas will need plantations as well uh, there's lots of mountains up here so it could be pretty good for science or faith uh, Jad Vega I should actually show you a bit about shouldn't I so they basically are very focused on the religious side uh, they have what's it mentioned here Lithuanian Union the religion founded by Poland becomes majority in an adjacent city that loses the title to Polish culture bomb and it mentions culture bomb here culture bomb adjacent tiles when complete an encampment or fort inside friendly territory when military policy slot is the current government in the current government is converted to a wildcard slot there is one government which doesn't have a military slot so presumably it wouldn't work with that government type i'm not sure actually uh, i have played them a little bit but not a huge amount uh, holy sites gain standard faith adjacency bonus from adjacent districts or relics provide bonus faith culture and gold they do seem to me a bit culture focused a tiny bit because of the relics but I have no real experience with going with culture so I'd probably go for a military or religious victory or science if I have to that would be the current aim starting out they have uh, wind hazard uh, units and a uh, I'm gonna butcher these Polish uh, pronunciations so apologies on that but I'll uh, try my educated best to uh, make them sound okay uh, the winter czars uh, are up here in mercenaries and I've got a feeling that uh, this bottom part of the civics might be very important that's a relic wonder which probably would go very well with Poland especially if you're going down a culture route and uh, that's for wonders down there that is key for the Hazars as well and that will give them a huge production boost so this is the direction I may be going down if I go heavily religious right let's check chat to see quickly to see if uh, anything's being said no uh, people still watching yeah 10 great so let's continue on I mentioned this at the start of the stream as well as the first time I'm streaming so I'm testing certain things out I don't have a second monitor yet so uh, that's a bit of an issue when it comes to checking chat since I can't check it off screen on a second monitor so I think I'm probably going to settle in place here probably don't want to come down further south because there's a ton of desert and that's obviously awful uh, Petra could be very good here but uh, on a mortal I'm not sure there's much chance of me actually picking it up let's uh, move that up there to get a bit more sight we've got some citrus resource so there's a lot of irrigation uh, one two that's just out of range um if I stick on yields as well which is actually a really good idea because uh, natural wonders have special yields around them so you can more easily see if a natural wonder exists on the map if you do that. I'm tempted. One, two, three. If I move there, that would still be in range. It currently is in range there. That there would be great for a science lab because it's got three mountains around it and they give a bonus. So it could be one, two, three. I am actually in range of it there already. So maybe there isn't a reason to move. I could move there. That would move me away from the desert. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the delay is on chat, but uh, I wonder if anyone's mentioning Petra. Uh, I'm currently using a desktop, so uh, yeah. That's uh, not an option, sadly. Uh, right, let's settle in place. Uh, it's not too bad, is it? Okay. There is a desert pantheon which would be fantastic for religion so I could like place it down there and get a huge faith bonus off it. Uh, actually getting religion on a mortal seems to be very hard especially on uh, small maps because there's only four religions that can be founded and 
uh, it's almost impossible to get the uh, what you might call it Stonehenge, which gives you a religion on this difficulty. If the Arabian civilization is in in the game, they always get. Uh, the last great prophet. So that only leaves two slots. And after two great prophets have been gotten, the cost goes up dramatically. So you kind of have to get to the first. So I'm hoping there's not many religious civs in this game because playing Poland, I really should be. Uh, yeah, going to religion, I think. Right, it looks like there's a city state up there. And that is Yerevan. Hello. Uh, right, so city uh, state meeting bonus, one envoy. Uh, right, so this is Yerevan. Could be very good to have an extra faith for Jadwiga, Poland. Uh, dip bonus, your apostle units can choose from any possible promotion instead of receiving a random promotion okay it's nothing super special by the sounds of it but um, I may want to actually conquer them even uh, early on that's often a very good idea I've been playing a bit well probably the civ I've played most as so far is Germany and they certainly are good at conquering city-states but faith does seem a pretty good idea with uh, Jadwiga I'm going for this uh, Slinger as well because uh, you I mean uh, well, I've got the hope of uh, getting the tech boost to kill a unit with a slinger. And there's always tons of barbs at the start of the game, so you kind of need them more than, say, a scout or a monument, which is often what you'd make in Civ 5. Uh, right, let's end turn. Okay, so I kind of want to keep the warrior quite near to not go exploring too far off as well at this stage because. If a uh, barb scout turns up, then we could have a ton of barbs uh, turn up at my door, and uh, that would be a massive issue. So I'm going to loop him around here, and at least until I've got the unit, and then uh, try and go a bit further afield. This is a fractal map, which I'm not sure I mentioned, so it can be pretty random. It can be like sneaky continents, or even a Pangaea. Uh, so we'll see. Very dense uh, jungles here, so yeah, I think this might be quite hard on the terrain front. I picked all random terrains, so uh, we'll have to see how this turns out. It may not have been uh, be working out too well so far. Fair up to two pop already. What tiles am I actually using as well? I should probably put both of those on as well. Okay. Yeah, uh, so I believe I mentioned I've got a decent amount of experience when it comes to uh, Civ 6, but I'm not crazy amount of experience. So uh, any tips in chat? Uh, yeah, could uh, would be welcome, especially if they're good. All right, looks like there's an ocean around here, or well, possibly a lake, but I think it's an ocean. Okay, so there's more. Uh, grassland or plains down there right something which I really need to remember is when these get to halfway it's usually a good idea to stop and try and uh, achieve the boost objective not always but um, yeah I certainly need to try and remember okay uh, let's keep on going right we're about to get Slinger. No barbarians yet, which is probably a good thing. Well, I'm said that some would be good because you want to get the boosts, for instance, killing okay, three barbarians gets a tech boost for bronze working, archery for the Slinger. Uh, there's a heck of a lot of jungle here, which I more than likely want to get rid of. And I also need a uh, plantation. So this is, yeah, difficult at the moment because I kind of need to come up here. And I kind of need to come up here to clear the jungles. Uh, there's reasons oh, yeah, to do both. So it's a question of which. I think I'm going to start with mining. But I could definitely maybe regret that. I probably do want some barbs then, actually. So I can get the bronze working sooner. Um, yeah, because I'm not really sure where I want to... Uh, 
I'm gonna get a scout next, I think. Yeah, I'm not really sure where I want to put my holy site yet, and things like that. Uh, let's bring that down there. Let's come up towards Yerevan. There are certain uh, find objectives to get the boosts. Uh, Russian uh, viewer, great. Uh, so, yeah, uh, certain find objectives like uh, finding city states, finding another civilization, finding another continent, they're very important to do early on to get tech boosts and civic boosts. So, I also need to find a natural wonder actually because I did start on uh, getting this astrology tech to hopefully get uh, Holy Sight up soon. Right, let's come across there. Okay, that could be the bottom of uh, the continent by the looks of it. Uh, very bad terrain down there though, so I won't really want to settle there too soon. Right, let's come up there. Uh, what are the tiles that I've immediately got? Actually, the banana tiles are really good. So, yeah. Good start from that perspective. Haven't found anyone apart from that city state yet. Uh, lots of mountains are good because they're really good for campuses and yeah, you probably want a campus in most of your cities, I think. In my opinion. Uh, right, let's in turn. Okay, let's come up here. Right, that could be a great spot for a city, a canal city, so you can get from there to there. Or that could be a lake, so it might not be so worthwhile, but uh, we'll have to see. Do some more exploration. Yeah, I think that's where my campus is going to go. I'm going to use pins at some point to remind me. Uh, but uh, we'll do that a bit later. Um, right. So it's starting to look as if we might be a little bit isolated, which could be good. Hopefully get a ton of terrain to build up. And uh, since I intend to uh, make a holy site early on, I don't hardly want to be under too much of a threat. Uh, right, I'll move one to there. Oh, kind of glad I did, because I found them. Right, next turn is a barbarian bonus thing that I can get, so I'm not going to go near it yet. Uh, yeah, I could probably do with another slinger coming up. Right. Let's end the turn. If you've only At just... best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. I'm not. Do you want? Yeah, you'll have to let me know in chat if you want me to play the entire uh, Sean Bean. Is it Sean Bean? Yeah, mentioning all of the civics and techs, or if you just want me to skip them because you've heard them a million times. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the first civic. Uh, next one. Uh, well, I basically have to improve three tiles to get a boost there, or discover a second continent. They're probably the better. Bonus, especially the build one, maybe at this point. But I kind of want to get to there and there earlier. Um, so I'm going to go there and hope to find a second continent. Uh, this is something which uh, is very easy to forget the fact when you get a new civic, you can change the government policies. Uh, because with Poland, we actually get a wildcard slot instead of a military one for the governments that have military slots so yeah I don't think picking a classic uh, yeah, classical republic would be a good idea because uh, I'd get that instead of uh, two wild card slots in theory I, don't know, I haven't tested it out I'm not sure about that uh, so out of these uh, I think probably need to select that at the moment to deal with barbarians how much faith have I got here how have I got 25 faith already? That's a good question. I should g 
get a Pantheon this turn, I think. So I was actually going to pick the Godkin pick then to get extra faith to get a Pantheon quickly, but uh, maybe I don't have to. Um, fill policy slot. Okay, I'm assuming I'm going to get a Pantheon, so I'm not going to pick it. I'm going to pick that then. Okay. Right. If I stick that there, it's probably going to get a tank, but we'll see. Uh, maybe it's the Pantheon next turn. Let's take out these camps because I don't want them getting barbs down here, which would cause me all sorts of problems. Uh, right, question here. Uh, Yo, Maxon, you were planning on revisiting Ender Space 2 after the big updates in November. It's a game I've been planning on covering again, uh, but uh, there's two updates, as you mentioned. They weren't quite big enough to. Uh, get me making content again quite yet but um, the second one was bigger than the first one I almost yeah uh, decided to cover it again probably the next time I plan on covering it is uh, when an expansion comes out or if I do a lot of streaming which could be possible I might be buying a second monitor this week uh, depends how well the stream goes in parts, which is uh, yeah going well so far. Uh, so yeah, I could be streaming Endless Space too. If uh, people want me to stream it, you'll have to let me know. Right, so they're helping out. That's going to be great. And indeed, I did get a Pantheon, so that's going to work out really well. Especially since all of the Faith ones haven't been picked yet. So there's... Faith from adjacent desert tiles, faith from adjacent tundra, or faith from adjacent rainforest. Which, if you want a lot of faith, which I probably do, uh, yeah, having a landscape like this is pretty good. So the fact that I picked random terrain at the start of this uh, seems to be working out. Those are settings I'm using as well. So, if you want to wear. Um, so I think out of those, probably best to do desert since there's a ton of it jungle wouldn't be too bad but I may want to chop jungle in certain places so yeah I'm going to pick desert folklore and uh, found this pantheon I don't know how long I'm gonna be streaming for as well it could be a couple hours could be four hours I don't know yet it could be uh, yeah, less than that if uh, I have to stop for some reason. Uh, right, so Mysticism got a boost because of that. I did pick the right one then, hopefully, because I was busy talking and not paying enough attention. Yeah, I did. So I think, uh, basically, I want to make a holy site down in this part of the map very soon. I'm going to have to start planning out where I want my future cities as well. Uh, so cities actually down here are now much more worthwhile. Um, there's two camps. I think I'll go for one more slinger just in case. And then maybe we can think about monument or settler for instance. Uh, let's attack that. Okay. And uh, does anyone get on great profit points yet? No. Wouldn't really expect them to have yet, but you never know. Uh, let's go and attack that. Uh, scout Ah, yeah, more barbs down here. So this is a pretty heavy barb star action. Let's stick him there because I don't want him getting the next to my borders because then he goes back and alerts the camp and then they spawn a ton of units. So I need to prevent that. That was a good time again getting him then. Uh, assuming he prevents uh, an issue coming up. Let's uh, end the turn. Okay, they took that out. They got the money. When for you it, find sadly. yourself in a hole, quit digging. I just picked up mining. Okay, so I'm thinking campus there, holy site down here somewhere. It means at the moment I don't probably have to chop any of the jungle, which I was thinking about maybe going towards this next, but now I think irrigation might be the better option. So let's go for that. 
Well, having said that, picking up astrology so I can make the holy site straight away is probably better. Uh, sadly, I haven't found a natural wonder, but I don't think it's worthwhile me waiting. I need to get that holy site up and going on Immortal as quickly as possible. Hey, mate, just popping in. Gotta go to lesson, but have a good stream. Another guy called Maxon. Oh, hi. Uh, right, hope your lesson goes well. So... Right, bit of a problem here. Definitely need to uh, move back down here. It's going to take me a bit of a while getting used to having people in chat or a chat at all, actually. I've only, uh, at this point, up until this point, played like recorded videos. And you do get uh, some interaction back from uh, comments, of course, but uh, not this quickly. So that was taken out. Maybe worthwhile going after Yerevan, trying to conquer it still, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, let's bring this guy back down to Krakow as quick as possible. That route's um, that's about the same that length, so maybe I'll come down here actually and get a bit more exploration, heal that up, deal with whatever barbs are there and there. I can block that those barbs off quite easily perhaps so it's yeah these ones are more of an issue right uh, oh wow yeah there's a lot of uh, barbs on this uh, map by the looks of things but no sieves yet okay and that guy's found me which is terrible but luckily I should be able to kill him without too much of an issue before he gets back to camp. That guy on the other hand though, I'm not going to be able to prevent him from moving up here and getting back to his camp. So we could be seeing a lot of barbs coming back if I'm uh, not too lucky, but we'll see. Okay, so I do kind of want to get a start on that holy site. Uh, let's end the turn. Haven't found a second continent yet, haven't found natural wonder, so I need to find two more city-states early on, so there's a lot of exploration I need to do. That hasn't got the exclamation point over it, so even though he's next to my borders, he hasn't found a capital city. Maybe the jungles are preventing it from seeing it, I think, so that's a bit lucky. Let's move back there to heal. Uh, this one can come down here. Okay, next turn. I may get one more slinger out before I start on holy site. I'm not sure. It's kind of uh yeah, difficult decision really. Okay. So Oh, I don't, can't even make the holy site yet, can I? Of course I haven't got astrology. Yeah, let's get one more slinger out then. So, if I got four slingers, I can upgrade those two archers at some point. I could definitely take out a city-state with uh, four archers when it's that strong. Um, but it will go up at some point, of course. Right. Uh, if you... I think the standard heal is 15 per turn in your territory. I'm not sure. Let's find out, shall we? There's 37. Let's heal there. Um, let's... Move that there. Uh, I think I'll let it move to this, but I'll heal there. And uh, let's end this turn. Okay, Yerevan's got some units which is going to help with the barbs. It's going to attack that there. Now, my scouts can't get over the river in one turn, sadly. Uh, let's move that to there. Uh, do I bring this get up there or up there? I can't tell if I'm at the top of the map or the bottom, really. I might be in the middle. Um, let's bring this get northwards. I think. Right, let's end the turn. Right, uh, that didn't work out so well. He's making a break for it. I don't think he's got the exclamation thing on, no, has he? If I had brought the scout down here, I probably would have killed it quite easily with that. 
Uh, so 67, yeah, I think it's 15 per turn. Because it was on 37 before, wasn't it? Um, guess everyone's got appeared now then. So that slinner can go to there. Right, so we get Holy Sight next turn. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. Okay, so we've now got astrology. Great, so that holy site. I'm gonna start on that soon-ish. Uh, right. Could do with healing this guy, but I'll bring him down. Uh, that's healing there. So what tech am I going for next? I think... I need to farm a resource to get irrigation as well. Is it possible? Dear plantations, bananas. That requires a farm, the rice. That's plantation as well, I believe, citrus. So I kind of need to buy up to deer to be able to farm to get the tech boost here, which isn't maybe might not be worthwhile. It kind of depends. Um. I guess I'll bring that down there. Hopefully it comes around there. Uh, I think I'll complete that and then we'll start on getting the holy sites up. Um, I say that but where to? I think there might be good. I assume that counts as desert. All of those are desert. Uh, the Polish actually have bonus to the holy sites as well again standard faith or JCC bonus from adjacent districts so if I stick it there there's highly decent chance I'll stick another district there at some point so that'll give me another bonus I get I'll get six faith from desert tiles for the pantheon off the holy site I think so I'm gonna get a huge amount of faith in theory if things go well um, Right, that's not a good sign. An unmet player has already started with the great profit points. Okay. Can I actually get mysticism yet? No. Uh, something that's very special with Poland actually is that you can get this a lot earlier than the other sieves. Uh, the great profit points. That helps get in the religion a lot sooner. The reason you can get it early with Poland is down to the fact that they have a wild card slot. And the other sieves don't get it until they get the uh, government, first government there. So that's going to be handy, definitely. Right, so I wasn't paying attention then, so I don't know which direction he went into, but uh, he's there by the looks of it. And, yeah, the camp's down here, but he doesn't seem to have the exclamation point above him, luckily, so it shouldn't spawn a ton of units, him getting back there. Hopefully it's... Uh, that is the case, it's not a graphic error and it's not appearing for some reason, but uh, I guess we'll find out soon. Um, I guess I'll move there, which maybe I shouldn't, I should go and find stuff, but I uh, wouldn't mind seeing the coast, uh, that tile. Um, I think, yeah, let's go and take this one out first. Slinners. I might bring that one down as well. I've got to remember that also, though. Uh, right, next turn. I haven't spent any money. There hasn't been anything really to spend on yet, so I should be able to buy that tile and then, yeah, make the holy site uh, pretty soon. Um, so, yeah, you can see my pantheon, all that extra faith. I, yeah, this is looking like a really nice start in many regards. Um, yeah, I think that's probably where I should uh, stick it. Uh, should think about where I'm settling. Uh, there's no great fresh water down here, but I could stick stuff on the coast and then get really good holy sites down here in these deserts as well. That looks like a lake actually, but it may still be worth settling there for a canal city. Uh, we'll have to see. How am I? I'm great. Uh, when we make some content with... Uh, or you might be mentioning to someone else. Uh, when we make some new content with Endless Space 2. Uh, if there's demand, then uh, yeah, the chances are uh, sooner rather than later. 
Uh, I'm kind of hoping an expansion comes out. If I do start streaming a lot, then uh, yeah, it. Uh, if there's demand for Endless Space 2, I may do it very soon actually. Start making, well, streaming it. Um, right, let's uh, purchase a tile. Okay. And make the holy site there. Okay. I'm not going to be able to make districts on those tiles, which arguably limits how much faith I can get from this, but I think that's a pretty damn good site for it. It's not like I'm going to ruin it with districts anyway, probably, so... Faith is nice, but it's not the most important uh, yield. I'd rather have uh, ten of science, for instance. Okay, uh, right, so... Uh, this warrior, what am I doing with you? I guess I'll bring it down to there. Uh, this one can have a look for... Barbs over there. Uh, that can fly on that. And that has resulted in uh, the death of that, which gives me a boost to archery. Great. Now that's over halfway now, so I should probably switch and hope to find the second continent. Um, I kind of don't really want to. I want to get to that quite soon, but yeah, I guess I'll redirect for a bit. Let's uh, have a look on here. Right, it's only one. I sh hopefully we'll be able to catch up to them. Stonehenge will probably be getting completed very soon, so there's kind of a race for the next religion. Uh, whoever get well, basically, if I weren't to get it, the cost would double to 120 great profit points needed, and that would be a serious problem. So I really need to beat them if I can. Um, yeah, which isn't might not be so easily done actually, because I'm nine turns away from getting that. Is there any wood so I could? Well, I don't have a worker, so I can't chop it to get extra production anyway. So. Yeah, it's going to be hard to beat them. And may, that gives me more reason to get the mysticism and use that. But it's going to be 21 turns anyway, which is too long, isn't it? So it's starting to look as if I won't get uh, the next religion, I'm afraid. It's possible Stonehenge won't be made because you need stone near to your uh, starting, well, a city that's making it. Who knows? Maybe no one will start next to stone, but I doubt I'll be la lucky. Uh, right, let's enter. Stonehenge, yeah. Okay, so that's one religion down. Three left. Uh, I'm actually out of amenities. Need more housing. One to complete it. Actually, making a settler at this point wouldn't be a bad idea since I'm uh, being affected by amenities and that's going to be lowering something or whatever, which I've forgotten, probably growth. Uh, right, let's bring that down there. Okay, I think I'll pull him back when I'm getting attacked. Really, that one can come over to there, right? Uh, oh, wait, there, this turn, okay. Oh, uh, let's take off the food because when it gets within one of the housing cap, it slows down the growth, so there's not much point in having the food thing on here. Yeah, so I'm getting minus the sits and growth and yields now, which uh, isn't great, but... Yeah, we had quite a decent start in the city with all these bananas, actually. So this grown really quickly. Okay. Uh, right. Let's get down to there. Uh... There. Go across, try and snipe that camp. Okay. Right. Yeah, so there's a little lake up here. 
not so important that I have Canal City over there now. Right, uh, let's do that. May have I been thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. It may have been worthwhile trying to get a builder out before starting on that, but it's yeah, if I'm gonna get a religion which is important with Poland, I really have to go for it. Uh, right, so the likelihood of me being able to farm resources seems limited at the moment, but I'm going to get at least half of this, I think. Now make a decision on whether to complete it or wait to get the um, tech boost. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I need to do something about you, don't I? Turn. I bring out the dead to deal with that. Right, so Speeman abandoned his camp and he's now lost that. I just got a boost to military tradition, which is that civic. Nice. How many barbs have I killed? One or two? If I kill one or two more, then I can get. A uh, boost to bronze working, which I definitely want to do. I should be able to trap this guy. Okay. Uh, right. Next turn. Promotion. Should probably. Well, when you get a promotion, you stop taking experience. But it can be worthwhile attacking still in many situations. And in this situation, I think I should just kill him. Uh, you get 50 health back when you get the promotion. So, yeah, it can be. Yeah, I can now get most of my health back when I take a promotion. So that should work out better. Probably. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, take that next turn. Uh, this slinger can come up here. Uh, that one can come up to there. That. There. It's camp there, so I need to be careful of him getting back to there, which maybe I should have positioned that a bit better. Um, okay, next turn. Right, he's got the exclamation point, so I need to kill him. Okay. Uh, those two should be okay on their own. Let's get back to exploring with this guy. Okay. Uh, let's take the promotion now, and I'll take the one with against melee and ranged units. I think I should put them on the middle. No circumstances. Um, I could actually do another scout down here. It looks like it's more territory than I was expecting. Still no other civilization found yet. Uh, let's end the turn. Ooh, we managed to uh, leg it pretty far down. Okay. And yet another barbarian. There's probably another camp down here somewhere there. Right. Uh, that's promotion. Okay. Uh, this is fractal. I don't know if it's possible if I could be on my own on this type of map. It maybe is possibility. 
It's starting to look like it could be the case. I hope that isn't the case. Um, right, so I've got halfway of this now. Should I switch over and hope to farm something? Um, yeah, that's an idea. Uh, what do I need coming up? It's going to be a little while before I can get a builder out. So, yeah, I think I will switch over. Now let's go for han animal husbandry. If I want to get archery soon after. I could. Maybe I should come after bronze working now though. Okay. Uh, we've got state workforce. Which... Uh, how have we got that? Uh, oh. Build any specialty district, and yeah, I just completed the holy site, so that explains how I got that. They're destroyed. Now, there was a scout down here, wasn't there? Right. Uh, right, so I'm going to go for this next holy site prayers. This gives faith every turn and great profit points once finished. So that will allow me to catch up sooner and hopefully beat them to the second religion. Uh, Stonehenge founded Taoism. Uh, right. Let's come down there with him. That guy, I guess I'll promote and I pick up Folly. Right. So there's a camp there, there's a camp there still, and there's got to be one down there, because there's still more barbs down there. So we've got a bit of uh, yeah, exploring to do to get them. Uh, right, let's end the turn. Haven't found a second continent yet, which is really disappointing. I've got halfway on that. But I don't have a work yet. I think I'm going to switch and I'm going to go back to that. Okay, so I'm not getting quite as many tech boosts or civic boosts as I would like yet. But uh, plenty of time. Right, there's a goody hut, also known as a tribal village. Uh, let's come over to here. Right, it's pretty damaged. There, mountains, good. Uh, let's. So uh, they can. I think I'll bring them up here. Yeah, I really hope I haven't got an isolated start, but it's starting to look like it could be. Hoping that there's more sieves on here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, pulling into space, it could definitely uh, happen. Uh, right. So, I'd much prefer to get a religious or conquest victory, but it's particularly hard on a mortal. Uh, right, so let's uh, end turn. Right. It's a bit of a pain, because I can only shoot one at a time here. But uh, I'll shoot him there. Uh, how is the audio and the uh, FBS and the graphics? You'll have to let me know in chat. This is the first time I'm streaming, which I've mentioned, but if you've only just joined, you won't know that unless you've read the description. Um, yeah, so I'm testing... Oh, wow, got really lucky. Got a free builder. Yeah, I'm testing mainly to see how things are working today. Uh, right, so Citrus is in uh, range. I don't have, I could, well what I could do is buy up to there and then farm that to get the uh, boosts to get that attack or I could just research it now which may be a better idea. There's incense down there that needs plantation as well, so all of this is plantation stuff at the moment. Um, I think I'm just going to research that. Uh, if I were to buy up to there, it would cost like 255 I should probably save my money for something else, I think. 
maybe. So I'm just going to research that and uh, get some plantations on the go. Let's get down to the incense first then. Then we get up to the citrus. Maybe do a banana. Okay, let's switch these out. If I can. Has he shot this turn? Oh, he has. So, uh, let's do that next turn. Uh, this scout. Come up here. Okay, more luxuries up there. Uh, how far am I behind? Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got a real race on here. Um, so Stonehenge has been gone, so someone's got a religion already. If Arabia's in this game as well, and both of those were to get a religion, I would not get a religion. So I have to beat one of those, basically. Uh, which is uh, easier said than done. What I could do is actually make a shrine, which I'd forgotten, but that's going to take me a while. That would actually give me a great profit point, but maybe just picking those up would be quicker, I think. I don't know how much Holy Sight Prayers gives you in great pro profit points. I think it might be 10 or 15. Uh, let's end the turn. I kind of wish I'd uh, maybe focus on getting down here now sooner to get that, which I could use with a wild card. Poland has, but we'll see how things go. Uh, right, let's move these out. Dead. Uh, oh, I can actually upgrade that. Let's go for volley. Okay, amenities and housing needed, but uh, yeah, prioritizing religion. Alright, that's waiting there. Uh, I guess I keep on exploring down here. Okay. We've got the Eureka for wheel off that goody hat. Let's come up here. Right. Uh, next turn. Okay. Let's bring that down. Yeah, it does look as if I've got an isolated start, which um, I don't know how I feel about. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be 60 FPS. I think I've set it to 30, so if it's hopefully it's 30, uh, quality video is good. Great. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, right, okay. So let's continue on. Uh, that guy can come back up here. I expect another camp down here, but I haven't found it. Yeah, I'm a bit tempted to restart to diff on a different map. To have a non-isolated start, have another sieve on here if indeed there isn't one. Um, you have to let me know in chat if that's something you want me to do, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Um, let's attack there. I mean, it could be more land off down here. But perhaps there isn't. Doesn't look it, but it could be. Right, so nothing up there. Um, Keeping them around just to trade with might be an actual idea now and then. Uh, let's end the turn. So, could focus on ships is going to be important if I am isolated. I don't think I've ever played an isolated start out very far in Civ 6. So this is going to be a first. Uh, right, so Holy Sight Prayers was just completed. That gave me a boost. So I'm up to 17 points. Uh, I don't know how much that boost was. Probably 10 or 15. Uh, they're actually... Yeah, they're on 2. They're on 2. So that's not good. I really hope Arabia isn't in this game. But it could be. Uh, let's go for another Holy Sight Prayers then. I think that's the quickest way I'm going to get a religion. And since we're looking looks like we're isolated. There's not too much risk of me uh, focusing on that. Uh, right. More goody hats. Okay. Uh, 
two turns, get irrigation. Let's... Right, these guys don't have a zone... Well, they don't prevent your movement because they're an archery type unit, I think. So I could uh, move down here and still fire, in theory. Yeah. Okay. Well, it is more land down here, so uh, who knows? Maybe there is a sieve down there. Uh, there's a little island off there. There's a bit of land I haven't explored over there. I guess I'll bring us back down here, though. Okay. Uh, how are we looking at chat? Okay. Let's enter. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain having to, uh, well, with one monitor, having to go off screen or on the main screen, go and check the chat. But uh, yeah, that's how I'm having to do things at the moment. Might buy a new monitor this week. Someone was very kind enough to actually. Uh, use the super chat feature to uh, make a donation earlier on which I can now put towards that monitor definitely so thank you to them uh, right so we just got the camp uh, yeah I'm starting to get a bit of cash here so I could start to think about what I could be buying uh, granary to sell to solve the housing issue 280 would get me a shrine I think I may actually save up for that settler would be great at this point though also since I only have one city and it's turn 38, it's, yeah, uh, maybe should start to be thinking about settlers, certainly. Right, can you irrigate that next turn? That will solve the amenities issue. Right. Uh, let's come down there. Uh, I can come down here. Okay. Next turn. No second continent yet, which has meant I've had to uh, spend the a lot more research. The land who has grit enough to bring about the afforestation or the irrigation of a country is not less worthy of honor than its conqueror. Okay. So, yeah. As you can see, all of that is one continent. We happen to be on the Lemuria continent, supposedly. Uh, right, so next tech, let's finish off animal husbandry, let's get the plantation going there, which I uh, don't think it updates sadly straight away, well actually the incense is there, but uh, yeah, uh, that's not quite updated, that's long there, let's get that. And yeah, there is actually a camp down here. Uh, progress towards early empire has advanced considerably uh, from the goody hut. So normally you would need to get to population up to six. That's quite easy to do, really. I'm only... Actually, maybe I didn't get that from the goody hut. I'm not sure. Or maybe I did. I was already on six, so I... Yeah, that's a bit strange. Um, did I get a free pop? That... I don't know what happened there, to be honest. Uh, right. Uh, I think I'm going to bring one of these back, just in case the camp spawns up here and I need to go kill a scout. Uh, it's going to come down here in a minute, and it's going to do a bit of exploration. Yeah, like, hopefully another sieve down here. Uh, let's come down there. Right. Uh next turn so I think it was 280 for a shrine I'm only earning four though which isn't actually all that much uh, let's bit stronger in him but uh, I need to heal so I'm gonna heal up there and attack him in a bit right uh, let's get towards Citrus, I think next. Can't go trade in luxuries with other sieves if I uh, can't find any more sieves, which uh, is going to be the result of being isolated if no one else is on this continent. Uh, let's come down there. Right, another scout I need to deal with. Uh, okay. 
Alright. Next set. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Okay. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Okay, spicy start, supposedly. Well, or uh, potassium start with the bananas, I'm not sure which. Uh, so, increased trade route capacity. Uh, right, that's good. That was from getting foreign trade. I want to get a caravan. Well, lots of caravans at some stage. Uh, next, let's find out where iron is, is it? Maybe. Not quite in a position where I can get the campus up yet. So how about sailing? Builders can embark. Uh, I kind of need, would need... Why do you get a galley? Yeah, dear. I need, um... Coastal city, really. Frankly, before I make use of a sailor. Uh, right, civics completed. Let's go for mysticism. Nine turns away from getting that. I already got the boost for the pantheon, of course. So I might be able to use that soon, hopefully. Um, how are we looking on this? There's... Yeah, sadly, I think they're going to beat me to the second religion, so the cost is going to go up to 120, which means I'm going to have to spend a lot more time making these... Uh, Holy Sight Prayers Sally, which is uh, very costly to me. Um, very costly. That's probably 15 turns production wasted almost. But I feel as if I've got to get a religion. Certainly focused on it. So I've got to continue down that path now. And we're Poland and they really rely on religion. So yeah, I think it's the right thing to do. Uh, especially with this start. Uh, right. Let's shoot you and so oh. scout doesn't need to attack okay this big content all to myself if I it is all to myself uh, that can go to there and oh let's not forget this uh, yeah, especially later on. I think at the moment, though, that's the best option. I haven't got a trade route, so I can't use that. That's crap, so I might as well keep that, I think. Maybe I could put that there on a wild card, though. But, no, I'll keep that. Uh, right. Okay. Right, uh, what next then? So, just completed the Holy Sight Prayers. Let's do yet another one. And uh, I'm looking at the wrong screen. Let's check out the right screen if I can find it. Yeah, so I've gone back ahead of this guy, but still looks as if this guy's going to beat me to it. Um, is what how many turns away eight turns uh, hopefully it's 15 when I get the holy site prayers that would take me to 51 but then I'd need nine more so I might lose out by about a turn here potentially six uh, if that was like three turns each then it would uh, perhaps beat them but it's, at the moment it doesn't look like I'm gonna beat them to the next religion sadly um, yeah, I'm gonna explore up there with this one. Uh, that can stay there. Okay. Let's get that citrus. Okay. Uh, I could buy the shrine if I had more money. If I could get that camp down the bottom, actually, that would speed things up. Okay. Let's enter.
Okay, uh, Gabby mentions we can see you hold computer, etc. Yeah, make sure you read the description, Gabby. At the moment, I uh, only have one monitor. So the reason I'm playing in windowed mode is because I need to check the chat every so often. I can't go and check it off screen because I don't have an off screen and have a monitor to look on it. So this is my first stream. I'm basically testing to see if things are working uh, based on your and other people's feedback and uh, I may be streaming a lot more in future if this, if this goes well and it's something I find I like doing so right we've got the citrus sadly no one to trade it to but uh, a bit more cash uh, right so there are certain tech boosts for quarries and mines I would love to get. I think I might save my last uh, builder use in the hope of getting an iron mine, which uh, might pop up somewhere near in four turns. I guess we'll see. Otherwise, I may use it on a banana. I'm not sure what uh, the plantation bonus gives on a banana. An extra production, maybe some extra gold. If there's a lot of extra gold, it may be worthwhile to get the shrine a bit sooner. Let's start attacking here, is it? Yeah. Hope to kill that soon. And get extra money from the camp and then maybe spend it here. Okay. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, so it's a bit awkward at the moment, me uh, not having chat at hand somewhere, so I've had to pop out of check it every now and then, but uh, yeah. Hopefully that'll change as soon as I get another monitor. Which hopefully won't be too long before I do. Gotta go and price them up, see what I want to get. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, can't you chop a forest? Yes, that's an idea. Uh, Jungle could be an idea, couldn't it? That's a good idea, actually. I, uh, yeah, I've forgotten that. Uh, for jungles, you get half food, half production. Oh, you can't chop jungles so until you get bronze working. So, I will get bronze working pretty soon, though. So, that is, yeah, definitely an idea. I could buy a tile. Uh, yeah, like that tile. Go and chop that. So, yeah, I have to think about that. How we look on a great profit front? They're 12 away. Okay. So, if I could chop a prayers to nick the religion, that could be well worthwhile. You don't get an awful lot of production at this stage of the game, though, for chopping. But it might be enough. Who knows? Uh, right. More housing needed. Let's get that. Uh, I'm one turn away from buying a shrine, which gives me an extra great profit point every turn. So, that could be enough to nick a religion. Uh, in time, the next one. I have to see. Uh, so, plantation here. Um, so, that is uh, two gold, which isn't so important now. I could. When does. Where does this grow to next? Uh, eight turns. Well, that's too long. If I wanted to buy that, it would be 60. So I'm going to position that there, and I might be buying that tile and then chopping the woods to complete the prayers to hopefully beat this guy. He's five turns away. Uh, five turns I could use that but it's kind of too late to get the next religion it's a real race on immortal to say the least to get a religion very hard to do and probably even well definitely even worse than deity I imagine uh, deity All right next turn okay uh, right sadly no civilization still it's looking less and less likely. I mean, considering how much land I've 
go on this content. You'd think there'd be another civilization here. Then. Uh, let's move to there. Okay. Right. Bronze working. Prayers. So how much do we get from prayers? Let's see. We're on 40 now. I get. I should be on 41 plus whatever I get for that, which is probably 10 or 15. And I could buy the shrine this turn. Um, so I would be making two per turn. He's four turns away. Uh, if I get 15... If I get 15, that would take me to... Well, up to the one is... Uh, 56. He'd be on 54. But I would have two if I have the shrine. I wow, I wish I knew how much uh, the shrine, uh, the prayers give you. If it's 10, then it's not enough. If it's 15, it is enough. So, I'm going to take a gamble here, I think. I'm going to buy the shrine and hope that that gives me 15 prayer power. If it does... Oh, actually... Something I'm forgetting as well. Uh, you can actually buy this at some stage. So would I have enough faith to just buy it outright after the prayers? I might do, but he could buy it next to him potentially as well. Okay, I'm going to buy the shrine. Let's see what happens here. I might need this, I might not. Uh, so purchase. I'd probably prefer to spend this on a settler, arguably, but... Let's get that. So we're now getting two great profit points per turn, or at least should be next turn. Uh, I should definitely beat the other guy, but uh, this is going to go up to 120 cost though, if I don't get this religion next one. So let's see how this works out. Next turn. Okay. I'm also interested in creating a lasting legacy. Because bronze will last for thousands of years. Okay, so any sign of iron? Oh, you are kidding me. Didn't that complete this turn? Why didn't that complete this turn? That screws me over. He's actually getting an extra 0.3 now somehow. <sighs> I don't know why that didn't complete. Um, right. Sure, it said one turn. Let's go pick up right in. Uh, let's come down here. Right. Let's quickly see what chat's saying. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's potentially never good idea. Um, Quality stream is great. 1080. Brilliant. So that's good. Uh, thank you for letting me know. Uh, don't have money to buy that now. Can't chop it. But yeah. Oh well. Uh, I can come up here. Next turn. I'm hoping I can buy the profit next turn if uh, the other Civ doesn't buy it. Which they may do because they're like, ne on the verge of getting it. So was it 10 or 15? It was 15, I think. Because I'm one away. Oh, wow. So I could buy it now. Um, or I could just wait a turn and get it. So this has actually worked out pretty well, I think. Now, I don't know the order of the turn between the sieves. Do they go before my turn is calculated? Because if their turn goes before my turn is calculated, they could buy it with faith if they have enough. I'm going to take a risk and not buy it, I think, because I, I don't know the answer, and I don't really want to spend 160 faith. I'll save the game. I might reload if things go wrong, but we'll see. Um, hopefully my turn calculates before theirs, that's what um, I'm trying to say basically. Because if my turn calculates before theirs, then I'll get the profit definitely. 
otherwise they could buy it before I'm able my term progresses right so no more prayers needed in theory uh, definitely need more housing monument could definitely do for that I want to get a campus there because it's a really good mountain chain uh, I don't have enough money to buy that tile now Sally I definitely need a settler um, in fact yeah let's get a settler next I think so I haven't even figured out where I want to sell, but uh, luckily I've done a good job on exploring, so I'll have to figure it out shortly. Uh, yet another goody hat. Okay. And, uh, right. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, right, that's been up today. Okay, so uh, are we going to get lucky and get this profit? Yeah, okay. So it looks as if, yeah, my turn progressed before the AIs, which is uh, a crucial thing. I don't think that's... Oh, am I looking at the wrong one? It's over here. Uh... Yeah, so that should go up to 120 because someone's got Stonehenge. Probably won't do until I've... Well, next turn, I imagine. Let's... Or until I've claimed this guy. So let's recruit. And let's check it again. Um, yeah, so you can see there, it's 120. So that was crucial that I got to that point before another AI because I would have had to spend another 15 turns doing prayers, probably. And there was a real race on as well. A lot of people in this uh, game apparently happen to be uh, religious since there's so many going for it only one isn't okay so that's a uh, key part of the early game with Poland getting the great profit uh, let's get it down to the uh, holy sites and found a religion okay so uh, Catholicism, probably, uh, if I should pick, I guess, um, with uh, Poland, that's the most apt pick, I imagine. So, yeah, I'll just do that. Uh, right, so let's confirm. What does Taoism have as well? Missionary zeal uh, allows construction of what? Okay. Super special there. Right, so with Poland, um, well, I could go a crazy faith game and try and convert everyone and win via religious victory, but it's arguably hard to do since I seem to have an isolated start. Um, now, these options then, I'm gonna get a lot of faith because of my pantheon, uh, faith from desert tiles, and there's a lot of desert so. I should have a lot of faith, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, campus and... right, so if I wanted to go down a culture route, which would be a pretty good idea on this game actually, but I have no experience with uh, culture victories. Uh, it's probably the least area I have experience with, so I don't really want to go down that route. Um, I mean, I do have experience of playing cultural victories in Civ 5, but not in Civ 6. I can't remember if I, I've done normally I'm a I record let's plays if you're not aware if you're watching a stream for the first time just found me in YouTube gaming um, yeah there's ten of Civ 5 content on the channel but this is the first Civ 6 content I'm doing uh, I quite like choral music shrines and temples provide culture equal to the intrinsic faith output uh, work ethic relics have triple yield of both faith and tourism that's excellent for Poland because they have some um, relic bonus thing going. So normally with Poland, I think that would be a really good idea, but I'm not sure it's going to be great in this game. Um, I think I'm going to pick choral music. Uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, what you think about that in chat, but um, yeah. It's a pretty decent pick, I think, in pretty much all circumstances, so I'll go for that. 
Now we get another pick after that. So church property is pretty good. Um, religious colonization. Culture bomb on holy sites. If I was near to other opponents, I would definitely be thinking about Crusade. Uh, where else can I go for... Uh, Defender of Faith, that's not going to be so useful in this circumstance. Um, itinerant Preachers, religion spreads the cities 30% further away. That might be able to get my religion across continents. I'm thinking of that at the moment for this pick. That might be an idea. 